Did you know the first helicopter almost never left the ground? It nearly stayed earthbound, a victim of engineering woes and naysayers, but it didn't. Oh no, it soared. This, my friends, is the thrilling saga of how the helicopter defied gravity and took flight. Since the dawn of time humans have looked to the sky, the vast expanse above us has always been a source of wonder and inspiration. From the earliest civilizations people have gazed upwards, dreaming of what lies beyond the clouds. Birds, those feathery daredevils mocked us with their effortless flight, their wings carried them to places we could only imagine soaring high and free. We watched in awe, envious of their ability to defy gravity with such grace. We yearned to join them, to dance with the clouds. The dream of flight has always been a part of the human spirit, a symbol of freedom and exploration. We wanted to break free from the confines of the earth and touch the sky. Leonardo da Vinci, that genius of the Renaissance, even sketched fantastical flying machines, including a contraption with a spiraling screw. His imagination knew no bounds, and his designs were ahead of their time, capturing the essence of human ingenuity. His vision? Vertical flight, imagine that, a machine that could rise straight up into the air, defying the limitations of traditional flight. It was a revolutionary idea that would pave the way for future innovations. But centuries passed and flying remained a dream. Many tried and failed, their attempts often ending in disaster. The skies seemed to mock our efforts, reminding us of the challenges that lay ahead. Then came the Wright brothers, those bicycle mechanics who dared to conquer the skies. With determination and innovation, they built a machine that could finally take to the air. Their success marked a turning point in the history of flight. But their airplane? Well it was more of a glorified kite, needing a good run-up to get airborne. It was a remarkable achievement, but it was clear that there was still much to learn and improve upon. We needed something better, something that could take off and land on a dime. Enter the helicopter! This marvel of engineering brought Da Vinci's vision to life, offering a new way to conquer the skies with precision and control. Along came a Russian with a brilliant mind, Igor Sikorsky, a man who dreamt of machines soaring quickly. He wasn't the first to tinker with helicopters, others had tried and failed. The idea of vertical flight was not new but it was elusive. Many inventors before him had faced the same challenges. But Sikorsky? He was different. He had a knack for engineering and a stubborn refusal to accept defeat. His passion for flight was matched only by his determination to succeed. His early attempts were, shall we say, educational experiences. Each failure was a stepping stone, a lesson learned. Wobbly contraptions, more likely to topple over than take off. These early models were far from perfect, but they were crucial in his journey. But Sikorsky learned from each failure. He refined his designs, tweaked the engines, and finally, in 1939, he unveiled the VS-300. This was a pivotal moment in aviation history. This wasn't just a heap of metal, this was a thing of beauty. The VS-300 represented the culmination of years of hard work, innovation, and relentless pursuit of a dream. The first flight was a roaring success. It marked the beginning of a new era in aviation history, one that would change the way we perceive flight forever. It was a sight to behold. The crowd watched in awe as the machine defied gravity, doing what many thought was impossible. The VS-300, with Sikorsky at the helm, lifted gracefully into the air. It was a moment of triumph for Sikorsky and his team, a testament to their hard work and ingenuity. It hovered, it turned, it even flew sideways. These maneuvers showcased the incredible versatility and potential of the helicopter. The world had never seen anything like it. People were amazed and inspired by this new form of flight. The helicopter, once a laughingstock, was now a reality. It had proven its worth and silenced the skeptics. And what an impact it's had. From rescuing stranded hikers to ferrying VIPs, the helicopter has become an essential tool in various fields. Helicopters have become an indispensable part of modern life. They've revolutionized warfare, transportation and emergency services, and our very perception of what's possible. They have opened up new possibilities and changed the way we interact with the world. So next time you see a helicopter slicing through the sky, remember Igor Sikorsky, the visionary who made it all possible. The man who dared to dream of a world where we could fly straight up. His legacy lives on in every helicopter flight today.